Hello everybody, hello everyone, hello my dear students, how are you all of you guys? I hope that everyone is fine. Uh, sorry because I forgot the camera, but however everything is fine here. Like I can work without the camera, that's fine. So uh, here we go for chapter six. The main point of chapter six, which we want to talk about is first page seven. So what do we mean by the entrepreneurship? What do we mean by the entrepreneur? Uh, people with vision, uh, drive and creativity who are willing to take the risk of st starting and managing a new business to make profits. So those are the people who are taking the risk to make profits, to make a new business. So those are the entrepreneur. And this point is very important because it shows us we have also types of entrepreneur. We have three types. The first one is classical, the classical one. The second one is multipreneur. The third one is intrapreneur. So the first one, risk taker, who start their own companies. Those are the classic ones. The multipreneurs are entrepreneurs who start a series of companies, not only one company, but series. For that reason, it's multi. Entrepreneurs uh, are employees who apply their creativity, vision, and knowledge within a large corporation. So those are the three types which we need to know. Then I will go to uh, slide number uh, nine. In this slide is telling me about the personality of the entrepreneur. What is the characters? What's his characters? Ambitious, he's having ambitious, he's very, okay, independent. He's self-confident, he's risk-taking, not avoiding risk, but he goes within the risk itself. Visionary, he's having a visionary, like he's having a vision for the future, a look for the future, uh, creative, energetic, and passionate. So all those are his own characteristics, which we uh, say his own characteristics. What they are, they are all those. Okay. We'll go now to 11, slide number 11. And this is very important because it's telling me how the small business looks like. How does it look like? So it's, the first of all are the characteristics of the small business, independently managed, means it's always managed by one person only, who's responsible, who's liable for all uh, the profits and losses, owned by individual, and this is the point, based locally. So it's not an international, it's local one. Not a dominant company, it's not a, a company which is overwhelming or controlling the market or like oligopoly or is it a kind of monopolistic? No, it's a normal one which is working in perfect market because a small, a small business, that's why. So yeah, then after this, we'll go to a slide number 15 guys. And here we have um, like, um, okay. How about the missions, the missions of a small business? What are the missions of them? Help people start and manage small business, help with federal contracts, speak on behalf of small business. Uh, okay, after this we'll go to uh, types of business, like when we do, how we will do the types of business, why, way to start your own business. You can start from stretch, stretch. Like start from the zero, like you can buy an existing business, okay? Or run a business, okay? Or buy a franchise, like we talk about the franchise and we said, give an example, like Tim Horton is an example of the franchise. So those are points. Uh, others, uh, those are the points which I want you to know here. And I want you to know this point as well, reasons for business failure. It might be economic factors or financial causes or lack of experience. Those are the main reasons for the finance, for, for the uh, business failure. Uh, okay. Also, if I want to manage a small business, I can run it by my own self or one of those three uh, alternates or options. Using outside consultants, hiring and retaining employees or entering the global marketplace. So any of those three, 
will be useful using my outside consultants. I can use some people from outside the management who all can give me an ideas and who can tell me, advise me what to do and what not to do. Hiring and retaining employees who will work with me and they will give me the adv advice as a sole proprietorship or as a small business entering the global marketplace as well. And this is the third point. So I can go to the marketplace, the globally, I can extend globally. And this is another way of to manage the small business. Um, some trends, which is like the aging and the minority and women vs men and uh, cautious stars and social and demographic trends, you have to be aware of when you start to open your own uh, business. Uh, so this was uh, about chapter six. So thank you so much for listening.